It's been a long time since Manchester United fans have been able to come away from Old Trafford universally pretty much with a smile on their face. But today is certainly one of those games. Man United 4, Southampton 1. Could have been more easily, but building on that 2-2 draw from Arsenal, because 2-2 against Southampton for me was a terrible game. That 2-2 against Arsenal was an improved game. We saw a really good attitude, but today we matched that attitude with quality. And we spurned a few chances, but we still scored four goals, and three of them in the first half. Massive criticism of Jose Mourinho from myself as well is how slow United start games. Today we were 1-0 up within 15 minutes, thanks to Ashley Young. The guy doesn't score tappings, does he? If he wants to score, he scores a banger. It's like he scored two against Arsenal twice. I think he scored two against Spurs as well. Just loves to score a banger. Today, Ashley Young wasn't the fullback that the conversation is going to be about, but that's Diogo Delot in his first full Premier League debut, or is his second one against? Yeah, his first against Arsenal. Sorry, he was sensational at right back. He really, really was. And it's, he did get caught out of position a couple of times, but he seemed to have the pace today against Fulham to recover. And obviously, that's going to be the caveat of anything I say in this game. Was good for Manchester United was the fact that it was against Fulham, but you know Fulham have been terrible. That's why that's why they sacked the manager. That's why uh, Claudio Ranieri's come in. But United have played relegation candidates in the last couple of weeks: Crystal Palace and Southampton. We struggled hard against both of those teams. Crystal Palace at home, so it wasn't just the fact that we were playing Fulham. Although I would like to play Fulham every week, they were pretty awful, and obviously the goal came from a penalty. That was the only way they were really going to score in that game. United turned up today. In that first 45 minutes, we saw Man United play, I'd argue, Man United's style of football. Really aggressive in the press, I feel. Always wanted the ball back. The fullbacks both were dangerous. Mata was brilliant in that, in that midfield. You'd argue, I think, Mata was the key, probably, to today's performance. You know, he got a goal and an assist. But it was his overall involvement in the football. And he was always there to receive the ball and bridge that space between midfield and attack that sometimes is so abundantly there. But that first goal from Ashley Young, that second goal there from Mata, lovely sweet finish into the corner. And then that third goal, probably the pick of the bunch, or I'd say maybe Rashford's pick of the bunch later on. But that wonderful pass from Lingard cut Fulham's defence open. And then Mata pulled it back and Lukaku scored right place, right time. Lukaku scored goals like that for you all day long if you give him the chances. I suppose most strikers would in that position, but... You know, he's killed his duck there at home. Hopefully he can start scoring goals again. But today, United were without Martial, our man in form. And I'm thinking, who's going to do it in attack? Marcus Rashford, man, step up to the plate. Man of the match performance, absolutely from Rashford. And it only builds on what we've seen against Southampton and Arsenal. When I argue he was probably man of the match in both of those games as well. Today, he had the final product. And he had the final product against Southampton as well. That was a two-all draw that he got both assists for. But it's more the fact that he had that blockbuster finish at the end and he was causing all sorts of problems against Fulham. They really, really couldn't cope with him. And in, in a, I suppose, a bit of a dark time for United right now, no one really knows what's going on with Jose Mourinho. His agent, Jorge Mendes, may be saying that Man United are happy with him. But prior to this game, we were like 18 points off Man City. Manchester United are not happy with Jose Mourinho right now. But Mourinho is our manager. And today we saw a performance that makes me think again it's kind of sucking me back in I know he keeps doing this but if Mourinho is going to be in charge of my football club I want to enjoy the football I'm seeing and today we saw it you know going into the starting 11 Martial was out and Bailly was out and I'm thinking I'm a bit concerned here that Man United might not be able to build on the performance against Arsenal against again relegation fodder against Fulham but we did and we had changes I'm trying to look for, I don't want to look for negatives. I don't really think there was that many negatives. Was the penalty a penalty? You know, you've seen him given, you've seen him haven't. But Herrera recently, Rashford recently, it's just players seem to want to play for the shirt they're wearing. And I know it sounds cheesy, but it comes across in the performance. Rashford in the last few weeks has massively applied himself. And today we saw the end result. And that fourth goal was proper Ronaldo-esque. Just full lace through the ball. Keeper couldn't keep it out because of power. Rashford deserved that goal. And we've got Liverpool coming up in a week's time. And today, they spanked Bournemouth as well. It's going to be a hard game. But we're going to need players like Rashford to do that today at Anfield next week. Obviously, we've got Valencia in between. But Man United are already through to the knockouts. So expect a much-changed team there from Jose Mourinho. But that 90 minutes today, I know so many of you don't want Jose Mourinho as our manager anymore. And I feel that he certainly won't be here at the start of next season. That's 100%. But between now and then, I'm not going to try and 
actively want my manager to lose to try and get him out of my football club. United are playing football like that. That was sexy. Yes, it was against Fulham, but we were fucking shit against Crystal Palace and Southampton. If we can do that anywhere near that against Liverpool, we've got a chance. We controlled the game, and more importantly, I think, we had the game dead by 45 minutes. United need to do that more often. Yes, again, keep going back to it. Yes, it was Fulham, but we just haven't seen that from United this season. So it's not just the calibre of the opposition, it's the attitude that we had today that we didn't have against Palace and Southampton. We need to... Valencia is probably the worst game possible before Liverpool, when you think about it, because we've... we're already through. It's going to suck the momentum. Mourinho is just going to want a nil-nil over there with no injuries, not too much energy used. It's going to be a dull game. And that builds into Liverpool. But I suppose form goes out the window when you play games as big as United and Liverpool. But I'm very happy today. For me, outstanding man of the match, Marcus Rashford. Easily. And with Martial out, we needed him to step up. And my, did he step up today. Well done, Marcus. Well done, everybody, on that performance. Diogo Delot, excellent. Really can see the promise in him. Going to be exciting to see what happens when Delot and Luke Shaw both get a few games in succession. But Ashley Young scored today. So who am I to complain? Let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.